So our group is a Dira campus on 17th of December and then in total around 40 students from chemical engineering applied because it was only open to chemical engineering students. And then around, first they held a test. So the basic procedure for the test was they had an aptitude section, a logical reasoning section, English and the technical core questions. And it was divided into four parts. It was a written test and 20 minutes each was given to the three sections pertaining to uh, English, aptitude and the logical reasoning and 30 minutes was given to technical questions. So in the aptitude was easy, it was, it was that 30 questions were given and we were given only a time of 20 minutes so that there the thing came in that time factor mainly. So everybody could clear that part and English was also, it was wanted again. And in, basically in technical they asked a lot of questions, 40 questions were there so around 15 to 20 questions were from chemical technology involving all that polymerization and then bulk all that things and then few questions were from mass transfer specifically uh, distillation column if you change the pressure if you change the reflux ratio then how would things vary in the and then there were two or three numericals uh, there were simple numericals but the time factor as I said that's what mattered okay and then then the test commenced and then they told us that the next day, everyone who had appeared for the test, he had to come for uh, the pre presentation. So we switched up and then next day we attended the presentation. And then it was a very good presentation, I still remember, yes, our group. And they, they told us all that I'll, whoever is going to get selected, he'll be selected as a deputy manager and then he'll be, have to work in Vadinar or maybe whichever place in India they send us to. And then, so after the presentation, they announced the result that who had been selected for the further round, the GD round. And out of that 40 students, um, it's actually uh, 45 students, 10 students got selected for the GD round. And then, then we went further for the GD round and then first they asked us uh, the interest, what are the common topics that have been discussing around and all. And then finally they decided to give us a topic that was foreign direct, foreign direct investment. Okay, and then first they told that they'll give us around 15 minutes but only since they were only 10 they took the they took only one GD and all the students were in that GD so they decided to give us a half an hour and then to go along with the GD so in GD what I think that they were looking for is that who can put a point it's not that be quiet or something like in some places they see that who has a relevant point but over here I think so they mainly focused on who can get his word out that's what I saw means some people they were not at good at that, but who had his point on the table, finally they got selected. So first they told that maybe they will not shortlist anyone from the GD, but finally they shortlisted six students for the other for the interview round. The interview round started, and then after each student came out, obviously I asked him what was asked in the interview. Round. So they were it's like to someone they were asking technical questions. It's very easy technical questions, and to a lot of them, they, a lot of focus was on HR. So my round came and then it started. They started, because I am a boarding student and then I had already made an impression in the presentation round because they were asking few questions in the presentation round and then actually the entire idea was going on in our college and then he asked that, is anyone interested in sports? So I raised up my hand and I was like interacting. So the vice president of SR group had come himself to take the interview. So I had made an impression over there and then he was taking the interview himself. So he told me to go along and feel free to speak out. So I started with my school life and from 10 years I have been in a boarding school so I discussed all that. And then he started cross questioning me over there that what did you do, is Darjeeling really worth it as they show it in the movies and then he was interacting a lot with me. So, so I felt easy because I was there, 10 years I was there so I could speak out. Then slowly so it came to my internship. But I had done an internship in IRC Rodhudra, so he asked me to explain the CD unit, CD unit. So I was really prepared for that and then I, I could draw the flow diagram of the whole unit. So he was really impressed with that. And then other with that, other than that, after the CD unit, then we go along to the VDU unit. I had not, we had not been given that topic in ISL, but still I knew things. Then I could see his reaction that yeah, okay, he, he then he asked me a few basic chemical engineering questions like he just asked me what is the specific heat of water, what's its unit and all those stuff. Then he went to my minor project. My minor project was modeling and simulation of fluidized bed gas fire. 
and he asked me why gas why 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 do we still refer to all this and i told him that 70% of indian population is still in the rural areas and biomass is a we can get, we can really get energy from it okay then then he moved on to my major project which we had not yet started but he still asked me because there was a pass out from my dear kid who was also there in the interview panel so he asked me what was my topic and well, what, so i discussed it we had not yet started but i had a big idea and then i discussed all that then again he came back to my HR part and then he started asking me questions about I had mentioned that I had done an HMI course mountaineering course then he started asking me questions specifically to that then he asked me a few questions about sports I had prepared all that all the dimensions of table tennis table and whatever because I had mentioned it earlier that I played with table tennis and then that's how the interview ended and finally so all the interview ended for all the guys and then they they took one and a half hour to decide who was going to be taken they called us all in and then they told that everyone was competent over there but we are forced we can take only one student so finally this little me uh, i would i would discuss a point in gd that i had started the gd and also ended it but main thing which i think that gained my notice in the whole gd process was that i referred to figures i told them that if walmart is to come into india it is it'll provide employment to this many people i i thought of certain number which i had in mind that time but i told that if how many people are going to get affected if walmart comes into and takes matters into its hand its own hand how many people directly or indirectly and that was like i referred to a figure around 100 crore people in india are going to be directly affected from walmart coming in into india so i gave a few figures like that and then i also referred to rajiv gandhi when they had economic policies economic reforms i also referred to those things and then i also few of the people among those time they were not speaking up so i i i told them we should give him a chance so all those things are important it's not that only you speak out in the whole process it's giving others a chance because it's a team work they are seeing all those qualities because a company they are going to take you in one day so all these things are important they can't just judge a person in one interview or one gd but all these things are important okay now focusing on the interview and the test i would prefer main topics you should cover is mass transfer that is very important mass transfer and heat transfer is very important because chemical it's a vast subject around 8 to 10 topics are there and then the gd the person who is taking your interview asks you what are you good at so there should be one subject we should you should have your grasp on if you can explain one subject then they have the confidence that okay he will manage he will manage with whatever is to come